Hello everybody, it's the Warm. Welcome back to Raging Loop. Last time we finished our little hangout with Uncle Keo. It ended uh, quite sadly. And uh, yeah, it, I mean really it was, a, it was a bit of a gut punch. Um, we were able to convince him of our looping and then you know we went on this whole discovery of the sordid history of Yasumizu and what had been done to the people in all that time only for us at the end to get taken out and yeah his uh, his last wish was for us to of course utilize the knowledge we were able to discover and, you know, hopefully do something with it. <clears throat> of course, in practical terms, that means we have another key, so we will most likely be using that pretty soon. Uh, we're going to have to go through a hint corner, so we'll go ahead and do that in a moment. Um, but I do want to talk a bit about the whole discussion in the second half of last episode. So it, I, I think some people may not have thought of it that way, but to me, my first impression was that was kind of like a, it felt a bit of like a light, lightning round of answers or questions and answers where Kyo was, was saying, okay, what's the explanation for this? What's the explanation for this? And so on and so forth. And so, you know, I was a bit taken aback at, at the suddenness of it. Uh, but we did get to hear what Haruaki's answers were for a lot of the questions. And they all tended to be mundane in nature. And that whole th section of the episode left me feeling somewhat unsatisfied. Uh, to go a bit more into it. Um, well, I, I mean, I, I don't think it's surprising why I feel that way, if you consider how I was at the end of uh, Darkness, where I had been somewhat on the supernatural side, and I was actually enjoying it a bit to see Haruaki get his comeuppance so to speak, uh, when the god revealed more of itself and, you know, we had the sort of catastrophe occur. And so now here we are once again, where we here's Haruaki giving these mundane explanations for all these sorts of, or all these sorts of stuff. So to quickly sum up, this is, the situation of the feast is supposedly... We have the heads of the the head families, and this is primarily the Migurumas. Primarily the Migurumas, but apparently also Higuchis, I'd say. But I'm not too sure about that. It seems the Migurumas are, are set are being set up as the big bads here, and they have it such that there are hidden cameras. There are controllable electronic locks there are secret tunnels there are trained killer dogs there are they have anesthetic gas to knock you out and it's specifically tied to the rooms it's it, you know it goes on and on and well hmm it just seems like a lot, and and Haruaki's argument was something like, well, that's that's how they get you with magic, you know? They make it overly complicated so that you'd never suspect it, and, well, maybe that is the case, but it, it didn't feel, that, that doesn't feel very satisfying to me, I must say. Um, there were a couple things that I did like, though. The idea that, so there's... Supposedly, we're, they're using this, you know, gas or whatever it is to 
make people unable to, you know, go to sleep and then unable to wake up during the night. Um, and Keo came up with a good point. He said, well, you know, th it's not like it's magic. It's this is this sort of gas that can put you to sleep. There are risks involved and people could die. And then Keo came to the revelation and Haruaki mentioned it as well that well, if that's the case, they could just brutalize the corpse, set it outside somewhere, and then bada bing, bada boom, everyone thinks it's a, it was a corruption death. What you know, and that is also supposedly what Kyo and Haraki's fate is going to be at the end of that particular uh, timeline or route there. So that was a that was a, I that was an explanation I did like. Um, whether it, again, whether it's true or not, I'm not sure yet, but. I did like it. Uh, there were a couple other things. Um, yeah. Oh, <laughs> last time, last episode, there was this thing where Unknown, Unknown Pitfall reminded me about the old man and Here's another good point about the old man by Unknown Piffle. Um, maybe, if you'll recall, one of the previous feasts seems to have ended early, and I remember mentioning that, but I, I didn't, I didn't make the, I couldn't, I didn't uh, make the connection or, or have the thought that maybe the old man, uh, maybe he was one of the wolves, and. So, because th that was something we thought could be possible, that maybe one of the people who survived at the end of the, um, uh, at the end of that feast, that ended early, could have been a wolf. And, and I think Harawaki said it could have been Gensan, because Gensan uh, knew about the badger. That was that was the argument there. So, but maybe, maybe the old man was another one. Um, I'm not sure we got. Uh, well, we might have gotten how long that feast lasted, but did they get two wolves? I can't remember. I can't remember. But I, I don't, so, something I don't know. I, I just the old man is kind of has been on my radar since last episode. So so <laughs> anything that's kind of about that is it, it, it grabs my attention. Okay. Um, yeah, and then just just for a final word on the whole discussion last time, it just not only is it sort of unsatisfying to me just to have it all be mundane, but it's also just the explanation is supposedly explanation regarding their motives, right? What's the motives for the Megaroma to be doing all this, right? So supposedly going back throughout history, the, let me make sure I get this straight. The people of Kamafujiyoshi controlled the water, okay? And so they were the, the upper class, the head families, relatively speaking, in this area. And eventually for, a, you know, whatever reasons, we had the Yasumizu revolt. And it's supposedly after this revolt that the people of Kamafujiyoshi, or the head families, resolve to ensure this will never happen again, and they, to do this, they supposedly invite monks or other religious figures in the nearby area, and they seemingly craft their, a, a, not a new religion, but they, they take the local legends and they set it up in such a way so that the the people of Yasumizu will not only be subservient to Kamafujiyoshi, but will also have this uh, potent this this feast every now and then that pits the people of Yasumizu against one another. And so, something seems to have happened in the intervening years from when that happened to now, where again, if, if we if we believe Harawaki's account here, it is now transferred from this a means to assert control to a, 
an extermination campaign, or, or it, you know, so, something has caused them to to just go all out, kind of. I, I mean, it, and, and I just I have trouble wrapping my head around that. It's like, why? What's what's the point here? Because it it this sort of these modern feasts it, it has to be start with back with the one uh around uh the world war ii one right i mean and here's the weird thing like if it is it just like a fanatical like it, it, okay here's the question if they were going to just kill everyone in yasumizu at this point, maybe not the one in during World War II because there were a lot more people back then, but at this point, why wouldn't they just go and murder them? Why have to dress it all up in the um, in the Sh Shania faith? Why, why did they have to do that? Now, is it just because they're fanatics and so they wanted to, even if they know it's not really true, they're do they're dressing it up like that because they want it to be seen that way? But then we look back, and, and then we, we see back the Migurumo presumably have the records, and so they know, oh, this religion was something we created in the first place. So, I don't know. I don't know. I'm probably rambling too much. Um, oh, there was one thing I forgot. Back in the... Uh, I think Lise reminded me. I think it was Lise. We did have... I went back to check it, and it is, it is the case that the people... At the end of Wit, when we were able to finish the game, all the remaining survivors were moved to Kamafujiyoshi. And I looked back at my own episode, and I even commented on it. It was... It seemed suspicious that we were moved, and, um, and then for, what, a few days or a few weeks? I can't remember exactly which. They supposedly had to clean up after the massacre and so yes i i could see that as as a way as a, as a as a piece of the puzzle if we're going along the lines of you know the head families are all uh involved with everything so i guess i'm i'm more looking for you know I, whether or not i like it it's not like Okay, I may not like it, but there is some there, there's circumstantial evidence to suggest that you know the head families are definitely involved, and I'm not I'm not gonna disregard that. I'm not gonna throw that out. I'm okay with that. The the only thing that I that was kind of annoying me last time was Haraki seemed to discount any of the supernatural stuff again. Um, like he even said he has an idea of what God is. I'm he he didn't talk about it, but I'm curious about it. Cause remember he thought he knew what God was before, and, he, and his conclusion was that, was that it was Haru's other personality, and that turned out to not be the case. So um, I'll be curious to hear what his answer is this time. So yeah, that's pretty much it, I think. Uh, let's. I'm going to take a quick break, and when I get back, we will return for the hint corner. Okay. Give me one moment, please. Okay. We are back. Let's continue on, shall we? Yes. Let us hear from Mr. Sheep. キー、8をゲットだ。オッケー。今回は回答編の中でも相当に長かったな。しかも、どえらい中身だった。早速まとめようぜ。オールライト、let's do it。についてだが手に入った情報は大きく 
監視網については夫妻氏春明は結構前からうすうす気づいてた節があるなあの野郎もったいぶらずに言えっつうんだ歴史については宴や信頼明神の本質に大きく踏み込むものだったなこれらがどう結実するのか最後の加速への期待を高めといてくれちなみにここまで順路沿いに来た大将は最後の鍵のうち4つはもう手に入っているはずだこのうち3つを使えば2ノームの9便所泊するかの鍵を開けられるそこで便所かよとはまあ言わねえでくれすげえ大事な分岐点なんだけどオッケーキーが揃ってねえ大将はエンド3を見て流れの確認をするのもいいと思うぜよし今回はここまで次も元気に死んでこいそういう夢だったってわけだ次はもっとうまくやれ羊が一匹羊が二匹オッケーあーうっす here Going back to the outhouse, huh? This should be pretty good, huh? Ran up the hill and crossed a rice field path until it was a simple outhouse. Coconut, Nantoka. Honto Nanigotonanda Tashkani Sugoi Kiridakido. そんな慌てることじゃいい春明さん詳しく説明してる時間はないだからお願いだから今から言うことを絶対に守って今から一晩ここに入って鍵をかけて絶対に物音一つ立てないで My mind was pretty clear by this point so much so that I began to wonder why it was clouded until now Because of that, I could easily understand exactly what Chiemi said, just despite how weird it was. I could see, I could also see she was really desperate. Look for him, huh? Who? The, uh. You don't mean the wolf, do you? The werewolf? What do you mean? That moment, my head was flooded with information. It felt like my mind was crushed by a million sheep. Crap, again? With this timing, at such a chaotic moment, I had lots of things to think about, but that'd be a waste of this loop. Well, I would start by calming down. Chiemi chan! Chiemi chan! Nani? まだ思い出せないか。はじめまして、ジミちゃん。あ、そっか、そうだった。遅ればせながら、はじめまして、春明さん。絶対に、物音一つ立てないで。やめろ、本気だったんだから。Since we started sharing memories every loop, one of us, mostly c h a m i always forgot something. Leaving it to the other to remember. Konkai Nanka Tamesno? Yorua Watashi Nanda Kanda Nigate Nanda Kedo. Ah, um, Murishinai de Yo. Bokua Choto Moitsita Kotogarukara. Modo te Koreru? Tabu Muri Kana. Kimi wa dosru? Sasato, this at Shiokana. Nanka so you know. 全部解決した後に癖になってそうで嫌だなそうだねよくない傾向だとりあえず試せること試すよ悪いね何試すヤス君にモーションかけてみるとか<笑>ああなるほど
ご自由に怒ったいや怒るのはおかしいだよねもちろん嘘だよそんなのしないそうじゃあまた Had I been attacked just now, it was no big deal. I could easily control my feelings toward other people. Man, why was I so mad? I needed to get a hold of myself. I was now by myself. What was there for me to do? I just remembered. I tried to solve that problem. Though it probably wouldn't be a solution. But if I didn't try, I felt like there'd be a trap waiting for me when I least expected it. And so I went to the north of Yasumizu, this thicket near the graveyard. Was where that person supposedly lived. Are we gonna go for the. old man? Naturally, it was empty. Then again, Not much time had passed since the mists came. I hid in a bush not far away and watched the dwelling as the mist covered it. Just as I expected the corruption to come after me. <laughs> yep. Okay. Old man time. I, I, I'm not sure, it's just. It feels strange that we might actually finally get answers on the old man. <laughs> He showed up. The old man who cried wolf. He'd done some strange things over the loops, but always ended up dying. I'd assumed that his senility. Senility. Seni senile. Senility. Was just an act, but I still didn't know the truth. Though I'd gained more reasons to suspect him recently. I'd love to expose him for who he was. I continued holding my breath and watching him. Apparently, in the hut, he was carrying around a lot of dirty cloth bags. I saw it from behind the shabby wall here. The state of the place was one of the reasons I suspected him. Could this place, which had more holes in it than an outhouse, really be used for sheltering? Over the many loops, I realized that there were two primary dangers here in Yasumizu. One was the bringers of corruption, as God said, the rabid dogs. And then there were the werewolf like creatures that were probably Great Lord Shinai's servants. You could beat the former, but not the latter. Yeah, and we did get. I mean, this is something to remember. The. Um, during the times with Chami, where he was, you know, the, however many hundreds of times they looped, they did try to. outrun them or get, get away from them, but, ev but every time they were killed by them. So it's a real phenomenon that's occurring here. Was he just. This is, this is, this is probably off base here. Did he. Did Haruaki say a lot of those mundane things to try and convince Kyo? Or to, was he saying it specifically because of Kyo? Or. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. That's another thing about Haruaki, you know? If it's. He's, he's naturally manipulative, and. You know, especially at this point where he's essentially. You know, a, a looper is the easiest way I can describe it. He's, you know, he's willing to say whatever he needs to to try and get whatever information he needs, but I don't know. I've not thought, I, I haven't thought about that enough to make a call on that, so never mind. Let's continue. Normally, the dogs upheld the order of the night, but if the rule breakers dealt with the dogs, that thing appeared, killed the rule breakers, and set things straight. I hadn't escaped that thing once so far. The dogs would definitely kill you if you slept in a place so damaged, and that was another thing I found suspicious about him. As it turned out, he really didn't have any intention of staying in his house. Yasumizu was deathly quiet, so it wasn't a good situation to try and tail him in. 
I had a feeling any rustling I made by my moving around would tip him off. Still, I couldn't just watch him leave. Ah, whatever. I'd just trust that he couldn't hear that far. Even so, I got on all fours and followed him, careful not to step on any leaves or loose twigs. I climbed over a collapsed Okiba, too, and I could only hope that that wouldn't mean I was cursed or something. Well, if I was, I felt like God would have punished me by now. Huh. Weren't we outside of Yasumizu by now? The Yasumizu area was like a scar cut off from the land, surrounded by cliffs. Was it okay as long as we didn't cross a cliff? In that case, I really should have looked into this overgrown area a bit more. There were still many things I could try. It wasn't the time to despair. But damn, the old wolf guy seemed to know exactly where he was going. Was this... was his hideout nearby? That sound... was that water? Was there a river here? I looked around to, around to find the source of the sound. It felt like it was straight ahead. There, there was a river? In Yasumizu? Wait, where did he go? It was pretty dark right about now, had I just lost sight of him. But I should have still been able to hear him walk around. Did he suddenly vanish? Though, if he'd actually if he actually could do that, that would have explained a lot of things about him. I had to find him. Carefully, though. I couldn't forget that he'd killed Mochi once. What if he'd already noticed me? I was walking into an ambush, and I was watching it. What if he'd already noticed me, and I was walking into an ambush? That wasn't the case. He just wasn't here. I had to find him. Masaka, no. There were two main things I found as I walked around this area. There were no people here, and the sounds of water were coming from below. Apparently, there was an underground waterway beneath here. When I stomped around, it made a hollow sound. It was probably used for the paddy fields. Water came here from the settlement above and flowed out into Saranaga. It must have been dug a long time ago, and it was still in use today. Or, perhaps this place was inhabited before. Wait. Even if they could get drinking water from the wells, paddy fields needed a richer source of water, didn't they? What was its source? Again, there was no river in Yasumizu. It had only little ponds. The documents from the Misato mansion mentioned that Yasumizu had its waters carried via irrigation from Kamafujiyoshi. Was this it? In that case, it was a pretty major piece of property. How did they maintain it? Even if it was buried underground, didn't it get blocked every now and then? Would it be possible for there to almost be no people going in and out of it? Hmm. About the wolf guy's disappearance. Could... Could he have entered the waterway? If there was some sort of secret entrance here, and he went through it when I wasn't looking... Hmm. It was already dark out, so I took a flashlight from my bag and pointed it at the surface. The dogs would arrive soon. I had to find it before then. Koreka? It was a patch of ground that was higher than the rest. It could easily be mistaken for just an irregularity in the terrain. But if it wasn't... I put my finger in and felt something made of stone inside. It felt like someone was messing with the ground here daily. Wouldn't this open if I turned it around? Mm. Mm. I did it. The stone plate that covered the waterway was lighter than I expected. I could now hear the water clearly. This waterway was unexpectedly large. A single person could easily walk through it if they crashed a bit. Had the old wolf guy gone through here too? Even if he hadn't, surviving the night here by hiding would be a new thing for me. I could try it. Flashlight in mouth, I went inside. I returned the plate, though. 
I didn't know if the dogs would come after me, but I could probably fool the thing. And I went in. It'd be completely dark here if I didn't have my flashlight. The water here was only about three centimeters deep, but the flow was pretty fast. There seemed to be lots of stones on the bottom. It was unexpectedly well designed. The hard surface made it impossible to slip, but it'd be pretty dangerous for me if the current got any faster. I'd be carried straight to Saranaga. It'd be a, it'd be a water slide of death. I had to start by searching the opposite direction. The waterway slightly curved as I continued walking. I could breathe normally, but the tunnel was extremely claustrophobic. Where was I right now? I'd walked a hundred or so steps, so I had to be at least under the plaza. Suddenly I realized something. The flow had stopped. The water that had been flowing below me was just a small trickle now. There had to be a decent flow coming from up ahead. Had someone stopped it? I had a bad feeling about this. It was night. If someone was controlling the water, it couldn't have been someone from Yasumizu. I tried pushing up, but nothing happened. The stone plate from before was the only place that could move. Also, going to the surface at this time meant certain death at the hands of the wolves. I had to continue. Uh-oh. This does not look very inviting. As I pressed on, the dry tunnel began to widen. I could walk normally now. It was a large underground passage that they'd created by digging through bedrock. My goodness. Do you think this is the passage Rokako was talking about? Huh. Like I'd expected, there was a major irrigation set up here. As I thought that, I saw a tunnel to the side. It started at about my waist level. Even if the water was running, it wouldn't flow in there. It felt like I could crawl inside, but for now, I'd just try going forward. There were more and more tunnels at the sides. The main waterway became more complex, with 90 degree angles and steps and stuff. When I got on a high waist step and took a break, I heard a sound. It was coming from far away ahead. It was familiar to me. The sound of claws on heavy floor. Ragged breathing. Growls full of uncontainable bloodlust. The feeling that there was a pack nearby. Dogs. Crap. What could I do here? Enter a tunnel? I looked inside a tunnel and lit it up with my flashlight. I couldn't see anything inside. No. There were dogs in there, too. There was... No safe space here? I had no choice but to run back. That was when... <laughs> Door! Stop! That voice. What no my Noka? I directed the flashlight at the source of the voice. <laughs> my Bushi! one of the tunnels about as high as my waist. The old wolf guy looked at me as the light made him cover his eyes. I knew it. Oh. 
The old man turned around and crawled deeper into the tunnel. I was supposed to follow him, huh? I felt like I was getting close to the truth. There were many beasts behind me. I gulped and, tense as all hell, crouched and entered the hole. Hmm. I had to crawl for about a minute while lighting up the old guy's ass like we were in some kind of theme park attraction. Hey, you're a With those words, he entered a larger space. I followed after him. It was a room. Neither large nor small. It was about the size of four and a half tatami mats. It seemed to be made of wood. The humidity here had made everything moldy. It looked like... like antique workmanship to me. I crawled inside, and once I'd stepped in, I felt something other than rock under my feet. It was unstable, really unstable. Confused, I tried to use my flashlight to see, but that was when the wolf man lit a match. A match? He used it to light up a lamp. That made the place bright. I finally realized that this place was like a literal dump. There were pieces of cloth, vinyl bags, and plastic bottles filled with liquids I didn't want to know about. The entire floor was covered in such things as we were walk and we were walking on them. This had to be the place where he slept. As I looked around, the wolfman pushed me away from the entrance. <laughs> then he pushed the heavy looking stone object back over the door, shutting us in with a heavy thud. <laughs> Well, that's very kind of you, old man who cried wolf. Thank you. <laughs> How come Kanzo wants to kill you all the time, old man? I didn't want to, but I had no choice. He went deeper in and sat down on a pile of garbage, so I did the same. I felt myself sink into the floor. <laughs> He took something out from the cloth bag he'd brought and extended it to me. It was a bread roll inside a plastic bag. It was specifically one made by the most famous makers of the stuff. You can get this anywhere. However, it was weird to see it in Yasumizu. It was a settlement detached from the outside economy, so it didn't fit in at all. Yet this place seemed to have tons of such stuff. Itadakimasu. I looked at the surface of the bag. It was made less than half a month ago. It wasn't even past its best before date. Ano, kore, doko de nyushu? Kue, kue, kore mo nome. He gave me a cracked teacup. In it, there was a transparent liquid. Nan desu ka, kore wa? Nome. Ah. I took it and smelled it. I wasn't sure about it. It did seem like alcohol, but I wasn't too sure what to think of the little bug in here. I didn't mind drinking it. But I had to make my position clear. ただ僕はあなたと話しにここに来ました。ノーメ。あなたはそんな振りをしているが、本当はいろいろ分かっていますね。ああ。読み耳の宴について伺いたくて来ました。ああ。あなたは以前の読み耳の宴で生き残った人物だ
ごちそうさまでしたオオカミじじいさんいや富士吉20世帯殺しの主犯殿、うん、と呼ぶ方がいいですか So it wasn't that other guy? What's the story gonna be here? Yoke Storjaneka Wakeno. Eh? Wow. So he reveals himself at last, huh? I knew it. According to the info in the Nasato mansion, the murder incident was concluded with the trial and execution of the self admitted culprit. However, the trial wasn't based on a thorough examination of the circumstances. Yeah, it was just his confession. One of the largest murder sprees in Japan's history was said to have been done in about a half an hour, and with only a kitchen knife. People at the time questioned this as well, but the confession took precedence above all and was considered enough evidence to deliver the punishment. I couldn't really blame them though. It was a. Yeah. I couldn't really blame them though. It was a time of chaos, what with the war and all. Ah, yes. If you. However, if you consider the idea that there were multiple culprits, some things made more sense. Due to the distance and difference in quality of life, the people of Kamafujiyoshi didn't know much about Yasumizu and what kind of people lived there. And those are results. And there's also the fact that the supposed murderer, Kihei Tochitani, wasn't mentioned in Kamafuji Oshi at all until he turned himself in. That mentioned that the witnesses in Kamafuji Oshi hadn't known about what the Yasumizu people were up to. When the police went to Yasumizu to investigate it after the confession, the people only said things that supported the idea that he'd done it. This meant that the people of Yasumizu weren't aware of these actions, and that those who weren't suspected could easily have been complicit in it. The old wolf guy had been considered not of sound mind for a long time, so he'd been ignored. That hadn't changed even now, and had gotten to a point that no one cared if he just vanished into thin air for no apparent reason. Considering his character alongside the timing of the incident, he'd have, he'd have been in his 30s then? But that was before the war, wasn't it? Or at the war? Because it was before. These murders of in Kam Fujiyoshi happened before that feast that happened during the war, right? How old is this man? And that his mental state was just an act, I could easily conclude that he was the type of man who could commit murder. Well, we know he would murder Mochi. He was the true evil hiding in Yasumizu. A serial murderer who'd escaped divine punishment and survived. What? What year is it now? <laughs> That seems like a weird question after so long, but isn't it, isn't it vaguely modern day? How. Yeah, I mean, I mean, if he was in his 30s back then, that. It makes sense that both Tai san and Kanzo san would both say. Oh, yeah, he's been an old guy since anyone ever remembered. I mean, that is. that's crazy. Nanja! Toto Minguruma ga! Ore o nozoko to ste kosa seta ka? Ya, sore ni sriya o kashi! Ome! Kono chikado ni! えらく不慣れじゃねえかああわからねえなああおめえ警察かわけえのああ僕は読み耳の宴を阻止したいものです阻止阻止 <笑> そら豪気なことはけえのみぐるまとことをかまえようってか<笑> 
バカなこと読み意味の宴の直接的な黒幕が身ぐるまけだってことは知っています一筋縄ではいかないこともね僕はあなたの過去の犯行を暴こうとしてるわけじゃないむしろあなたに意見を聞きたいんですよ安水の掟のみならず不二義の秩序を破り続けてなお生き続けているあなたにね He went quiet. And? 俺にゃうまみがねえなわけえの。He made an expression that was new to me, a display of unconcealed malice. なんですって The next moment, I heard a sound behind me and turned around. へへ、来やがったか。It was the sound of claws scratching on the boulder covering the entrance. It was accompanied by growls. けがれの運びて。へえ、そこまでして。なんで来たかはかりしれねえな。He probably wouldn't understand if I told him I, that I had nowhere else to go. こうやって石で塞いで、難を逃れる気ですかおうおうほら、今、安全じゃ。食うて寝るだけの悠々自適。No, who do you mean? Utanga Kuria, take Tonya Sunday, Coconi Kakuria, eh? No, who do you mean? He intentionally twisted his laughter as his shoulder shook. 殺人事件の真相がバラされればあなただって困るはずだそれにこの場所だって安全だとなぜ言えるんですいつまでも身車家の目を忍んでいられるとでも忍ぶなんか勘違いしとるかわけの身車は俺のことなぞとっくに知っておるぞ身車の目のことは知っとるのかならなぜ聞いてははおめえ俺を引っかけようとしたな。He was right. This guy was even sharper than I imagined. I had already confirmed that the Miguruma had a surveillance network spanning all of Yasumizu. There were these tunnels, too. The scratching dogs behind me made it clear that they were commencing the feast. In that case, there was no way they didn't see this place. That meant they knew about this man who was hiding underground. Hell, the fact that he'd been given the role of the badger made it clear that he was involved in the feast. His situation wasn't like mine from the first time, when the Miguruma simply didn't see me and didn't put me in the feast. There could only be one answer to this. Miguruma Ke wa, anata no koto o shitte ite, utage no kyak to shite mo atskatte iru. Shikashi, inochi o ubao to shite inai. Anata no shi wa, Miguruma Ke ni totte futsugo nan desu yo ne. You know, this, this section here makes it Interesting to me.、Um, it, it's reminding me of another thing that Lee said last time. It's the idea that, you know, our very first route here, it, look here, he, he Haraki just mentioned it. His situation wasn't like mine from the first time when the Miguruma simply didn't see me and, put me in the and didn't put me in the feast. So, what does that mean? The Miguruma simply didn't see me and didn't put me in the feast. Does he mean from the outset? Because he entered from Saranaga 
he didn't go through Kama Fujiyoshi, so they didn't know he was there. Because that would be weird, because if they have cameras and recording equipment or, or you know, they, you'd think they'd know he was there. Or was it just, as Lee mentions in his comment, or when Lee mentions in the comment, um, he hid in an outhouse. Does that mean the Miguruma knew he was there, they just didn't know where he was that night, and so didn't weren't able to assign him something? Um, or does it mean... Because if they have this huge, all-encompassing surveillance system, what are the odds that they just didn't put any near or at the outhouse? You know? I don't know. That, that, that seems off. That seems weird to me. Something about that. His death would be bad for them. Well now, I silently prepared myself. What's my time? You know what? Um, okay. I'm reaching my time limit here, and this could go on for a while. Um, so I think I'm gonna leave it. I guess we'll try to think about the implications of this now, and then when we come back, we'll go through his whole story and see where what we end up with, okay? So, yeah, I think I'll leave it here for now. <sighs> yeah, okay, so... We got confirmation on the tunnel. We got the reveal of the old man. Definitely didn't see that one coming. I do recall... They did put a bit of emphasis on the idea that the only uh, piece of evidence was the confession. So that's... I'm not surprised there's something, there was something more to that. But, yeah, I wasn't thinking the, the old man was him. Because again, so he's, <laughs> he's just ancient. He's just, he's just incredibly ancient. That's, yeah. I wonder what, they, what he means by his death would be bad for the Migaruma. What do the Migaruma want? What's the objective here? I still don't, I still don't get it. And the fact that, the fact that we got sent to the outhouse by Chiemi, and we know she's a Miguruma now, it's just, ugh. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Uh, stopping for now. I uh, hope you're all doing all right. I've been The Warm, this has been Raging Loop, and I hope to see you next time.